Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Evaluate the following integrals. Now, there's only one displayed there right now, but I'll, I'll write the other after we've completed this one. Now, to solve this problem, what we want to do first is actually split up this function into two pieces. First, we're going to have it, because we have to realize, first off, that this here is equivalent to doing something like this. Taking the integral from 1 to 2 for, let's say, 3x squared over x, add the integral from 1 to 2 for just 2 over x. This here and the one to the left, they're both equivalent. So that's this is the strategy I'm going to be using here. Now, well, well 3x squared divided by x is just going to be 3x, right? Because one of the, x, the x's cancel out, only one of them cancels out. So this will just give me, what is the integral uh, from 1 to 2? for just 3x. And, then, and of course we have this one up here, but let's just deal with the first one. Well, first, in order to solve this, what is the integral of 3x? Well, you have to take the antiderivative of that, and that's going to be just 3x squared, and divide it, of course, sorry, that's, a, that's supposed to be a 2 there, 3x squared divided by 2, and of course we have the 2 there and the 1 there that we have to take into consideration a bit later. Um, now let's, just, let's, let's deal with this one up here. So, uh, let me put the 2 back up there, and it will be 1 over x, because if we did 2 multiply 1 over x, we're going to get 2 over x, right? All I did was factor of the 2, because the, the constants don't, generally don't um, have too much of an effect in when you're trying to find the antiderivative, at least when you're dealing with when it's paired with x. When it's on its own, it, there's its own set of rules. But for this sake, we're just going to factor out the 2. So what is the antiderivative of 1 over x? Well, that's going to be line x, because when you take the derivative of line x as 1 over x, and that's just something that's best to be remembered. So the, the antiderivative is going to be line x, and when you multiply the 2, the 2 that's right out here, to the line x, you're going to get 2 line x. And of course, all of this, you have to write the, the little notation 2 to 1, because we're not finished finding the integral just yet. So I'm just going to take all of this and kind of work over here. So the next step into solving this problem is to substitute the 2 in for all of the x values, then subtract it by when you substitute the 1, the 1 at the bottom, the lower limit, 3, 2 squared, divided by 2, add 2 line of 2, subtract, and we have a 1 down there, so substituting the 1 in for this uh, little new function we have here, we're going to have 3 to, well, I'll just write it out, 3 to the 1 over 2, add it then to line of uh, line of 1 because we're substituting the 1 in. So notice we're subtracting everything that we put the 2 in from where we put the 1 in and that's using the fundamental theorem of calculus as one of the parts of it. So we just have to evaluate it now. Well this is going to be a 4 which multiplied by 3 will give me a 12 divided by 2 gives you a 6 so we have a 6 on this side and we have plus 2, I'll just put plus 2 line 2, and we'll deal with the lines, or the the, um, law, the natural laws, or natural logarithms a little bit later. So now this one here is going to give me negative 3 over 2. And mind you, this the negative is being distributed throughout everything. That's important to not forget that. So we have negative that, and we have negative 2 line of 1. Now line of, or the um, natural log of 1 is just going to be a 0. So if you multiply 2 by it, it's still going to be a 0. Uh, therefore, I'm just not, I'm not, gonna be, not even going to write this one there. It's, it's just zero, right? So it doesn't really matter. And now that we have all of this, it's just a matter of simplifying it. Well, this is over one multiplied by two. You're going to get 12 over, uh, 12 over two. You subtract three from 12, you're getting nine over two. So we're, our answer then is going to be nine over two. Um, if you add, if you, sub, if you if you subtract six from negative three over two, you'll get nine over two, and we have this right here to deal with. Now that's essentially the end answer. Add two line two. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.